Hi there, and welcome to another tutorial on Airtable, a modern database created for everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you how a silent disco headphone company could use Airtable to keep track of all of their headphones, events, which customers have, you know, borrowed which headphones, and better manage that work process of having the headphone registration and, and give back happen smoothly. So before we get started on Airtable, I want to show you how a company would do that using an Excel spreadsheet. Why? Because that's what most of them are using right now. And I think it also kind of shows you what the differences are between an ordinary sp uh, spreadsheet program and Airtable. So if we look here, we have three different Excel spreadsheets. We have headphones, customers, and events. In the headphones spreadsheet, we have a unique ID for every set of headphones that this company owns, the model of the headphone, maybe some notes about the condition, as well as just a condition field. Um, each of these are just text fields, so it is possible to, to make mistakes uh, while you're typing these in, and um, things could get messy, but by and large, it seems to work well enough. Um, for the customers, they have their name, their date of birth, uh, which headphone that person has borrowed and the event. And lastly, for the events, it's just the name of the event and when that event is going to occur. So let's go through the flow. You have someone who's just come up to the booth, they've already reserved their headphones and they want to pick them up. So we come over here to the customers uh, table and we say, okay, we know your name is La Monica, so let's see if we can find that. Oh, here you are. Okay. Yes, you've reserved for the silent but deadly party. Okay, so now we can copy and paste this person's name, find a pair of headphones that isn't broken or stolen, and essentially give them that pair of headphones, and then likewise come over here and drop in the ID. So now those two are linked. We can give LaMonica that headphone with that particular ID. She'll have a really great time. And when she's done and she's ready to go home, she'll come back and we'll find her in the list by looking up her unique ID. So her unique um, headphone ID. And once we found it, okay, we can essentially remove LaMonica from the list, come back over here, clear this one over here, and she is good to go. Okay, so that seems to work all right. Um, I think one of the biggest issues right now with the system is that there aren't any real relationships between uh, the headphones and the customers and the events. It all requires a lot of manual work on the, on the operator's part to, to make those relationships um, happen. Um, so now let's see what that would look like in Airtable. In Airtable, we also we have three tables here that are very similar to the to the three sheets. We have inventory, customers, and events. Under inventory, we have the unique IDs in every model. But as you can see here, every column has a type, and it's not just a text field. For the model, we actually have a single select column type, which means that we can make these options. And when we want to add another headphone to the to the list, we can come here and we can just select it from a drop down. So um, that's a lot easier for user input uh, than having to write that in every single time or copy and paste it. And the same goes for the condition. So we can easily say, yeah, okay, this is a new one, this one is working. Um, but let's go through the flow that we just went through in the Excel spreadsheet so that we can see the difference. Um, if you see here, we have a column called customers and this is actually a link column type and we've linked to the customers table. So what that means is that Airtable knows that we want to create a link to a row in the customers table from the inventory table. So let's say um, we're at the booth and we're getting ready to uh, hand out headphones. So we'll probably come here first and we'll first want to filter uh, for only the working um, headphones so we have a list of the working headphones and then for the next pair of working headphones that we want to assign to someone you can just click here into the customers column and then we can search for the person's name so we can say okay yeah we're looking for Bert here he is and we can verify his birthday 
And if those match up, we can just click on that. And now BERT is linked to this headphone, this unique ID. And that link is works both ways. So here we're looking at the headphone. And if we click on BERT, it'll open up his record. And his record, we can see that BERT has actually taken out two uh, headphones so far. And here are their IDs. Um, and we also see that BERT is going to the 20 mission party. So the event is also linked to the customer. Um, so no need to go back and forth and copy paste any values, which is really fantastic. Um, let's say at the end of the night, you know, Bert wants to return his headphones. So now we can just come here and we can say, all right, um, let's find the unique ID. So the one where he, uh, the one that he rented is here. Okay, 3769. And we can just come here, open this up and remove Bert from the link. And now again, that, that removal is both ways. So if we go to the customers, we can see that our friend Bert now only has one headphone that he's bought, uh, that he still has checked out with us. Um, now, another really great thing about Airtable is just how flexible it is um, and how much you can continue to evolve whatever workflow you have. Let's say now you also want to keep track of all the different headphone models that you have, that you own, how much they cost, maybe a photo of them so that uh, a new employee that joins your company who doesn't know how to recognize the different headphones can, um, can figure that out. Um, so, and so one thing that we can do is here we already have these three names for the three different types of headphones that we have. Let's just copy those over here as the name, or let's call it model of the headphone. Then let's have a uh, second field here with maybe let's say the price of the different headphones. So we'll use a currency column type and just off the top of my head, this one's 150. Quiet events are a little bit cheaper and the Hamiltons are the most expensive at 175. And then let's say we want a photo as well. So we'll come in here, we'll um, choose to add a photo. You can add a photo from your computer, you can add it from Dropbox or any of these sources. Here I'm just going to do a web images lookup. So let's search for these headphones. Here they are. Let's upload that. And then here for this one, uh, let's copy and paste this to make our lives easier. Come over here to web images. All right, here they go. Upload that. And then the Hamilton Wireless. And we found it right here. Great. Um, so now when, you know, uh, someone is trying to um, understand, you know, what, what does the Channel 3 SD headphones look like? Here's a photo. Here's the price. But now the really cool thing is we can go back to our inventory table and instead of having this model column just be a simple single select, we can now link it to the headphones call, uh, table. And then when we do that and we click save, it's going to convert every single one of those into a relationship to that headphone. So if we open up this particular unique headphone, we can see here that it's a Quiet Events headphone. There's a photo of the headphones. There's the price that's listed, um, as well as here the condition of this headphone and the customer who has taken it out. So there's you know really an infinite amount that you can do here to keep your information organized and also remove any duplicate work or duplicate uh, information that you need to copy and paste from one place to another in order to keep it up to date. Um, I hope that this was a really interesting uh, example of how to use Airtable. Um, make sure you to try it out for one of your uh, workflows, either personal or business, and uh, hope to see you next time.